Okay, this is the cow catcher part one. I'm gonna be doing the basic model sharp shape part of it. Okay, so first I'm gonna go over here, clip line. I'm gonna go from the center point out 1.2 inches. You go straight up, so it's perpendicular, 0 0.25 inches. And I clip it. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and press restart. You, most people probably have done. But we start just makes it so that it automatically clicks the slide tool so you don't have to re-click it. It's faster. Click the other point, go straight up, 0 0.25. We start. Go up here, find the center point. You should automatically lock in. Like it, you can kind of see it's doing now. It'll do it for you. Um, you press left click it, straight up, 0 0.75. It should look like this. You go straight out from that point to the left. Go straight out to the right. And you press this, this center line, um, just click it and then delete it using the delete button on your keyboard. It's faster than doing the trim. Finish sketch. Now, see if you press the extrude, you won't be able to extrude that because it doesn't recognize it as a shape. And I don't know why it doesn't recognize it as a shape, but whatever. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to click this patch over here. It creates a planner or a 3D surface within the boundary of a specified closed loop. And you want to click all of your lines in order. I cannot stress that enough. In order. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, so whatever, in order. That's okay. And now you have this little shadow of your previous shape. <coughs> Do that again. Match. And I click every single one of these in order. That's okay. Then, see. If I press extrude, it says no visible hard depth sketches because that is not a sketch, it's a plane or a shadow of where a sketch was. So I want to create a sketch on that. And I just want to copy all of these lines, all these orange lines. This. Done. Just go all the way around with your sketch line. Finish sketch, and if you extrude it, you should be able to extrude that. We're not going to extrude it now, so I'm going to so it should look like this. And now you want to go. Oops. Now you want to go over here. You want to click this drop down on the plane. Not this, but the drop down on the plane. You want to click um, offset from plane. And you click this plane that you had. Make it 0 0.75. Press the green check mark. Oops. You should have something that looks like this. Now rotate it so that you can see both. See one side it's um it's a little solid, you can't see through the other side's um you can see through. So you create a sketch on the new plane. Then you do project geometry over here. Then you click all of your lines. Even this one that you can't see because it's by, hidden by the axis line. And you should get all these orange lines like this. Okay. Then you can um, zoom in a bit. Click line. Go from the center point. Should I might be locking the this line? You can see the green um, indication lines that it's in the center. Click it and you go out. All the way out. 0 0.9 inches. Oops. And you go straight up. 0 0.25. From the center again, all the way to the left, 0 0.9. Go straight up, 0 0.25, and it should automatically lock in. You can see it's green, green little uh, indication line here. Should automatically lock in that at 0 0.25. Start, and I go from the center again, up, parallel, make it one inch this time, and from that, go all the way to the left, and you restart it, and you go from the top right again. And then you make sure to delete, click on the center line, and delete that, and sketch. Now we're going to try to extrude thing again, and we'll extrude it so you don't know, recognize it as any um, separate lines. So you want to patch it again, you want to go from the left, side, side, right, and bottom. Make sure you click both these lines. You click OK. Now you have the ghost shadow plane thingy I like before. Before we get too far, um, before, yeah, you want to. Go to the, over here on your little uh, tool bar thing. You want to right click work plane one. Right
way to get a different disability to the game. So I go over here to work claim one and click visibility. And I'm gonna create a sketch on this new uh, this shadow thing. Loaded the same thing as before. 